Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a circus tent. This is part one of our entire fair tutorial. So as some of you might be aware, this is part one in a long series of tutorials in which we are going to build an entire fair. So if you want to make the exact same fair as me, laid out in the exact same way, using the exact same amount of space, then I highly recommend building the white grid that you can see below. It's quite a large area. Not only that, I have also marked out where this tutorial is going to begin. So once you have made the grid, please locate the first block, the area where the first block that we are going to be placing is. If you don't want to make the fair in the exact same way as me and you just kind of want to piece it together yourself, then all of this is completely useless to you and we're gonna move on right now. <laughs> Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout this build please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Beginning with the previously dedicated first block, we are going to place a white concrete on top of this position. Left of this, place a red concrete. Behind and to the left, place a white concrete. And then a red concrete to the left. Behind and to the left of this, place a white concrete followed by a red. Behind this, place a white concrete, red concrete, white concrete, red concrete, white concrete, and then a red concrete. Behind and to the right of this, place a white concrete, followed by a red. Right of this, place a white. Right and behind of this, place a red concrete. And then right of that, place a white, red, white, red, white, red. In front of and to the right of this, place a white concrete with a red concrete to the right. In front of and to the right of this, place a white concrete and then a red. In front of the red concrete, place a white, red, white, red, white, red. In front of and to the left of this, place a white concrete followed by a red. Then left of this, place a white. In front of and to the left of this, place a red concrete, and then a white to the left. This is the base shape of our circus then. The next thing that we are going to do is raise up every single one of the white concrete and red concrete blocks, each by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on and so forth. It doesn't really matter how you accomplish this goal, whether you go clockwise, anti-clockwise, left, right, up, down, it really doesn't matter as long as we end up with the exact same thing. Now that we have finished building up the walls, we are now going to give this a roof. So the roof is really easy to make and we're going to start at the top of the row that begun this whole circus tent off. So from the top of this white concrete row right here, I want you to place a white concrete above and behind this row. We are then going to extend this block to the right using alternating red and white concretes until we fit the empty space above the or below the block that we are placing. So it wants to just slot in here next to this white concrete. And what we basically want to do here is we want to alternating between the colors of white and red concrete, we want to place a ring of white and red concrete all the way around the top of the inside of our circus den. And this is going to slowly shrink and shape the top of this. We're going to repeat this process quite a few times, but this is going to get really, really fast very soon. 
So that's what the first layer looks like. It looks like a large oval. And once again, we are now going to come to the same white concrete block that has started things off and then continued. We then want to place another white concrete above and behind this row and then extend around and above the inside of the empty space that we have. And you should notice that the white and red concretes line up with the white and red concretes that we have down below. And it kind of gives this nice satisfying stripey effect. I, I personally like it. Like if you wanted to, you could choose to alternate these in a different pattern, but I, I think that this happens to look like pretty cool. So for the next layer, we can't start with this white concrete again, but we can start with this red to the next of it. We are once again going to, above and inside of this, do the exact same thing. And once again, the stripey pattern continues. You're going to notice very, very soon that it, it's going to become almost impossible to continue doing ring shapes. And these shapes are going to become a little bit more abstract. So for this next layer, as we reach to the top, once again, we're trying to continue with the pattern of the previous block below. So white here, so that means we want to place a white above and behind. And then once again, follow the exact same strategy, except we're getting a little bit more cramped as time goes on here. And we've got to get a little bit creative. As a matter of fact, you'll be able to see this is likely to be the last layer and as we get all the way up to the top, we are simply just going to place ourselves a white concrete here just to match the stripe, red, white. So there we go. That's kind of perfect. Now that we have done this, we can now add a flag on top of this. So we're going to take the very center block just all up at the top here, place one, two oak fence on top of this with two red concrete on top of that. We then want to extend this bottom red concrete to the right, forwards, right, down, behind, right. So this is the shape that we should end up with. It's quite a cool looking flag. It looks quite 3D, I think. Kind of hard to do with flags. The circus tent has an entrance. You guys might be able to identify it by being a big giant hole in the front of the tent. We're going to connect the top of it together using alternating red and white concretes. We then want to extend all of the red and white concretes outwards a row. So let's start with the front. We just want to extend the top of this outwards one row. And then we want to continue extending this going all the way around. This is really tricky to kind of like follow the the pattern, it, th this is how it might be easier to do it as a matter of fact. Let's extend the long sides outwards using the colors at the top of the rows. And then we will devise a way to fill the in-between parts in. So just start off by extending the rows of seven that we have on all of the sides outwards like this. So this of course isn't going to like match up exactly but if we just kind of follow the same pattern of just alternating between red and white concrete then I guess that we can't go too far wrong. Maybe we just want to make this on the end white as well. We'll just kind of have to break our little color palette but I think that that will be okay. So if we start from the side here once again so that would be white, red, white, red, white, red, white, and then extend that forward. So that's actually worked out quite nicely, actually. And then we will do the same on the back as well. So white, red, white, red, white, red, white, white. And then white, red, white, red, white, red, white, white. And then as you can see, like if we have a look from the top, like it does look ever so slightly weird, but it's it's perfectly, perfectly fine looking. It looks really good from the sides, if you ask me. And something that we can do as well is we can take all of the white concretes and we can extend each of the white concretes down an additional row. So you're going to have to be a little bit choice with this. So I'd recommend extending the long sides of the white concrete down, just like this. And we'll probably leave the corners 
alone. Or maybe we can just extend like one corn, like here on the front where we have like an additional white. That looks pretty good. And we might even make it so that the entrance isn't so over encumbered. And we can also add a little bit of red concrete as well. So maybe like red concrete here and here, just to kind of like shape the entrance a little bit also. So something else that we can kind of do just to like brighten up the area outside here is add a, uh, a white and red tulip just left and right of the entranceway. I think it just makes a nice little difference like this. And you can already see we, we've already placed sand because it, it just like looked a little bit better for the layout but if we dig in between the two white pillars here place sand in between and then a row of five so it's one row wider just in front of this and then slowly shrink it back to a free light this is a nice sort of like inviting shape to sort of like lure you inside of the circus and next up i i suppose it's time for us to kind of like wander inside and and see what we can do in here but it's a little bit dark. There we go, that's a bit better. So, inside of the circus tent, the first thing that I want to make is the stage. This spans the width of the area just right in the middle of the back of the circus. So I'm going to place a row of oak planks in between this pair of white concrete here, extend it one row forwards, and then in front of these left two blocks place oak stairs. Then, left and right of the stage, I'm going to place oak fence that connects the outward row of oak planks up to the top of the tent. Then, I'm going to join the oak fence together, left to right, just like this at the top. Then, on the left and right sides, I'm going to place red banners, alternating with, with white banners, extending down to the ground just like this, to kind of look like a curtain. I want to place lanterns hanging off of the fence as well. So this is going to be placed not on the ends, but just one row inwards. The We are then going to place glow item frames in front of the inward pair of oak, oak fence, and then in front of the inward inward pair of oak fence if that makes sense and i'm going to place some shroom light in here but you kind of don't have to place anything they are sort of bright enough by themselves so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to lay out the seating area and set up the little tiny bit of redstone that we have so we need smooth quartz stairs birch sign sand redstone dust and dispensers plus we'll need a bunch of fireworks as well this is something that I actually don't have on me. It might be in the chest, but it also might not be, but we can just grab a bunch right now. I There we go, we just need four sets of them. So, in front of the right oak stair that we have here, we want to find the one to third block in, and on top of this, place a smooth quartz stair. So right of this, and we're kind of making a bit of work for ourselves, but it's okay, we want to extend this to the right one too, and then dig in the ground next to this and place a dispenser pointing upwards. So now that we have a set of three seats and a dispenser, we now on the left side of the circus tent want to leave a gap of one, two, three, and then place one, two, three quartz stairs with then a dispenser firing upwards left of the seating area. We then, leaving a gap of one behind this set of benches, want to place another bench with yet another dispenser just concealed on the end pointing upwards. And we want the same thing on the opposite side as well. Now that we have all of this, we now want to actually hook these up to a birch pressure plate that will sit in between the sets of seating and as we walk in or up to the stage this will set off some fireworks and it's just kind of like a fun thing to have so we have to dig underneath the benches and then once we have dug one row underneath the benches we have to leave the block next to the dispenser alone but then dig one row further under and we want to continue this row underneath the next set of benches that we have. So we dig underneath the opposite set of benches as well. And then we dig underneath the left two slots and the block next to the dispenser has to be left alone. 
What we can then do is place a series of redstone dust connecting from left to right. So this will hook up and connect to the dispensers. And we can place sand in between the seating with a birch pressure plate on top of the center block. And as we step on this, you will notice that the redstone connects and it, uh, it gets activated by us walking on the pressure plate. And if we were to stick some fireworks in these dispensers, then these will get set off every single time we walk over them. So perfect, just like that. And all we have to do is, well, pretty much just that once again. So we're going to dig underneath the bench. On top of this left block here, we can place a dust and then drop this row down an additional row. We have to dig two rows down in between the benches as well, and then just dig underneath this bench. The block next to the dispenser will have the dust on it. We now want to connect these together, left to right, sand in between, pressure plate, and then if we just grab the fireworks and place them in the dispensers, we can just check that they work. And I think that it's pretty obvious that they do. So all that is left for us to do in here is add a couple more details. But more importantly, I just want to dig the entire floor out and replace it with sand. Perfect. And last but not least, I am also going to place some birch sides on the sides of the benches, just like this. And once we have done this, this is kind of like the base of the circus complete. We don't really have to add anything else if you don't want to, but it's we've just got a couple of little details that we can add to kind of like immerse ourselves in a more circusy environment. So the first little extra that I want to make is a popcorn stand. So this is made using a red concrete and I'm placing it just all the way over to the left here, just in this back corner. So a red concrete, glass on top, red carpet on top of that. Behind this, an open oak fence gate. And in front of this, a spruce slab. And on the side of the red concrete, a flipped down oak trap door. And on top of the slab, an item frame with a set of pumpkin seeds inside of it. And it kind of just looks like popcorn, or at least it does to me. So after this, we are going to make a little banner to accompany this, which is made using a loom, red banner, white die, red die. So if we throw the loom down, open it up, place a red banner in there with some white die. We want to first of all make a stripey effect, grab the yellow die, put it in there and place yellow die just along the top like this. And there we go, we have a popcorn banner, which we can just place next to the popcorn machine. Nice and easy. So next to... <laughs> so the next thing... <laughs> Thank you, fireworks. I think I did do a good job there. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to make kind of like a ringmaster character, which is going to require a crafting table, red dye, leather tunic, which I've just equipped, neverite boots and neverite leggings, a head and an armor stand plus we'll need a lead and a donkey spawn egg that or just a regular donkey and first of all we're just going to open up a crafting table red tunic in there and then just add red dye i place it all the way around although i don't think that that's necessary at all and that will give us a red tunic then i'm going to place an armor stand in the center of the stage play ahead on top, never right leggings, never right boots, and a leather tunic. And it sort of kind of maybe sort of looks like a ringmaster. Um, unfortunately, I, I wish I could place something in the arms. It it doesn't let you on job for some reason. I'm pretty sure you can on Bedrock, but if we, if we could place something in the arms, it might be a little bit more convincing. But regardless, we are also going to add, just for the fun of it, a donkey, which I'm just going to lead to the stage. And... That, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it. We, we've made our circus then with all of the fun stuff that comes with it. A couple more things that you may want to do may include adding a three row wide stone cap that extends out a bit from in front of the sand that we placed earlier. 
So literally just left and right, a three row wide stone path that just extends left and right in front of the circus tent. And with that as well, I'm just going to make a little bit of a grass path section too. So just kind of like in a curved fashion, just all the way around the edge of the circus tent. It, it doesn't have to be perfect at all by any means. I just kind of want to have a little bit of a path that just goes all the way around of it. So um, that's something that you might want to add as well, or that's something that you might want to wait to do as we progress a little bit further along. And I just want to make sure it's even on both sides, by the way. That's why it's taking a little while, but... There we go, that's absolutely perfect. And there we have our kind of like pride of place. This is the first thing that you will probably notice as you walk into the fair. This is right up in your face. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to like and subscribe and click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And I do want to remind you that we are making an entire fair. So if this is the first thing that you've made, there is a lot more to come. Simply check the description below for the fair playlist and you will be able to make so, so much more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.